Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Long In from The Last of Us Part 2. Beautiful little song, pretty easy to play. I've already done a cover of it, so go and check that out. I'll try and put a card up. Uh, just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like on the video, the thumbs up, that'd be amazing. And leave me some comments, let me know what you want me to do videos on, uh, and let me know where in the world you're from, and if you've enjoyed it, and all of that. Okay, so, let's get down to it. So we've got four lines to play, it's standard tuning, no capo, you could play it on electric guitar, acoustic guitar, or a classical guitar like I'm playing on today. Um, the timing's not perfect, I had to kind of play about with it, but this is the nearest I can kind of work out to how sort of playing it. Okay, so the first line sounds like this. So, it starts off E5 nearest to your face, and then G5. So you play the E5, and then the G5. And then it goes up two frets to fret seven, and plays E7, and then G7. Then down to open E, and G1, and then E1 and G2. So from the beginning you get So the timing that I was kind of hearing when I heard the song was going like this. One, two, three, one. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you just listen to the track, you'll be able to play along with this. And then into the next bar, into bar five, we're going E3 and G4, and then E5 and G5. So from the very beginning, you've got so you can be a bit free with, free with the time. And the next two bars are like uh, so bars seven and eight are the same as like three and four. So you get. Let's try the whole of the first line. Here it comes. Okay, on to the next line. The next line sounds like this. So with this, we're starting off E3, G4, E5, G5. And you'll notice there, I've changed it into 4-4. Four, four. So it was in 3-4. Now we're in 4-4, four, four, so it's kind of going 2, 3, 4, into the next bar in bar 11, uh, which goes back to E3 and then G4. And then into the next bar we've got E1 and G2. And you'll notice there's a little kind of um, curve with a dot. So we're going to hold on to those notes. It's going to last for longer than you'd expect. Uh, so from the beginning of that line you've got Hold that on a bit longer, and then we've got another G2, and then E to G2, then E to G1. So the whole of the line goes two, three, four, two, three, four. And then hold that on, and then we're holding that note on longer as well. And then it goes to the next line. The next line is going to sound like this. So this is really similar to the first line. It starts off with E4 and G4, then E5 and G5. Remember not to play anything in the brackets. There's a 
um, a note in the bracket at the beginning, it's just holding on the previous note. So you've got and then this is like the beginning bit, so it's 7 on E string and G string, open E, G1, G uh, E1 to G2, that's into bar 17, and then 18, E3, G4, E5 to G5, bar 20 is E7 to G7, E to G1, E1 to G2. So let's try the whole of that line. It goes. So this is back in three now. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two. And the last line, this is all a bit free form as well, it goes. The track he's playing lower notes than this because he must have like a either an extra string or playing with a bass guitar um, but anyway so start with e4 to g4 e5 to g5 e3 to g4 e1 to g2 hold that on a little bit longer then g2 open e to g2 in bar 26 open e to g1 so let's go up from the beginning up to bar 26 you've got into bar 27 we've got G2 and then this last bit is goes it's a bit slower than that so we're going open D and G2 then A2 oh sorry D2 A3 D open A then it's got e, uh, A5 twice then D3, holding on for a lot longer. It actually hold, holds that note for a long time. Then G2, and then you finish off with this A minor chord, which is your little finger, A5, sorry, E5, A3, and D and G2. If you struggle to do that, you could just play a normal A minor chord. That'd be fine as well. So let's try the whole of that line. It goes. Okay, let's try and put it all together then. Here it comes. Uh, we'll do it nice and like free form. Hopefully it will make sense. Here it comes. to the next line, bring it in and on to the last line. Hold that on and G2. 
and the last chord. Well, I do hope you've liked that little guitar lesson of mine. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, I'd really appreciate that. If you could give me a thumbs up, if you could leave me some comments, let me know where in the world you're from, if you found it too easy, too hard, uh, if I've gone too fast, too slow, uh, and any songs you want me to do videos on as well, put them in the comment section and I'll try and do a video for you. Thanks for watching this. There is also some t-shirts that you can buy. Um, that really helps support the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.